Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to create a monochromatic textured hand-tied bouquet. Bit of a mouthful. <laughs> so this is for the bride that really wants to be colour coordinated. It's a really textured design, um, so it would suit a slightly more simple wedding gown. So as you can appreciate, if you have a wedding gown that's very intricate, very embellished with lots of beading and detail, you're going to have almost a competition going on with the dress and the flowers because the flowers are quite busy for want of a better word. So yeah, you probably need to think about what this would suit um, bridal gown wise. So the lilacs kind of epitomise grace and femininity and it's a perfect colour for that romantic wedding evokes emotion and romance okay so my ingredients today are lilac syringa so that's basically lilac really <laughs> lilac lilac um, we're using a lilac freesia this one's called blue moon we have some i was going to say we have some amazing clematis here but it's actually called amazing london <laughs> so yeah this is clematis as you can see it's a really pretty pretty shaped flower. Then we have some Lysianthus. This one's a double variety. It's called Corelli Lilac. Then we have some stocks and we have just a token rose. So we've got a few Earl Grey roses there. Just again to give you a little bit of colour change really from the complete lilac tone. So it's a slight shade paler. So that's all of my flower content that I'm going to use. Then obviously we have our usual floristry box. So in particular from the floristry toolkit today, I'm going to be using my scissors, some twine, um, some 12 millimeter anchor tape. And then in addition to that, I have some 25 millimeter satin cream ribbon and some lilac, oops, some lilac pins just to finish the handle off with. All right, so away we go, enjoy.
So I have some top tips, as always, for you. My top tips on this occasion for this particular design is, it can be used actually as a table arrangement after the bride's finished holding it. So just have a vase of water on the side, she can pop it into the vase and it will help to preserve the flowers out a little bit longer. Top tip number two, you can make it the day before, store it somewhere nice and cool in a bucket of water and then finish the handle on the actual day of the wedding. So it's something you can get prepared in advance. And top tip number three, because we've used such a beautiful array of fragrance in this bouquet, so we've got the freesias, we've got the syringa, and we've got the stocks, fragrance really evokes memories for you later on in life. So several years later, the bride will get a waft of the same fragrance she's had on her wedding bouquet, and it'll take her right back to that special day. Okay. So stay tuned for lots more of our sheer lilac inspired designs. Next, we're going to be concentrating on a funeral work. So we're going to be incorporating those colours, the sheer lilac colours, into a design. All right, thanks for watching. I look forward to welcoming you back again very, very soon. So stay tuned. Bye for now.